Hello and welcome to Coleman University's Function in a Flash, where every episode we show you a different function that you can use in the ClickUp Advanced Formula Editor. My name is Kyle Moynihan. I'm an MBA in international business and I've run projects all over the world. I have two years working with ClickUp and I have helped clients implement ClickUp across the globe. Today, we are going to talk about days. Days is a fairly simple function and that it can be used to find the amount of time in days, of course, between two dates. The syntax is pretty simple. It's days, open parentheses, end date, comma, space, start date. So the end of this duration and the start of this duration. An example would be the days function with the due date, the comma, and the start date and closing that function, and that would give you project duration. So let's take a look at that in real life. Here I have Project Alpha. It started back on July 15th, and its due date tomorrow is July 29th. So if I come into this custom field that I have made called duration, and I go to the advanced formula editor, and I find the days function, you'll see it says days up here um, already with an open parenthesis. And I'm going to uh, choose the due date, comma, space, start date, and then close parentheses to close the days function. And I can now calculate. And you will tell you will see here that it shows that there are 14 days between the start date and the due date of this project. Now, Another way in which you might find the days function helpful is to know how many days until something is due. So I'm going to create another formula field. I'm going to call it days till due. And I'm going to add that column. I'm going to click into this formula field. I'm going to go into my advanced formula editor. I'm going to choose my days function, and I'm going to choose the due date as the end date. And then because I want to know how many days until it's due from today, for my start date, what I'm going to use is the today function, which is a very simple function. Uh, as you can see here, it is just the word today and an open close parenthesis. And then another parentheses to close off this days function. And there we go. So let's calculate. You can see that because the due date is tomorrow, it's one day until due. And if this project were to end, let's say, I'm sorry, Thursday. This is seven days till due. So that is very simply how to use the days function. One important thing to keep in mind, just remember to always use the date that is further in the future first. Thank you very much for joining, and we hope to see you again for another episode soon. Mm -hmm.